You open a Google Tag Manager preview mode, but some tag or maybe multiple tags are displayed as still running. That looks weird. In this video, I will explain why this can happen and what can you do about it. The first potential reason for this issue might be ad blockers. Even though usually ad blockers, if they block tracking, they would block Google Tag Manager altogether. So your preview mode would not even work. But there might be some situations where maybe a particular extension, maybe they don't position themselves primarily as ad blockers, but maybe some extension interferes with how Google Ads tracking codes are being executed. So my suggestion here would be to temporarily try to disable several extensions that you might suspect can cause this and then see if that works. Or alternatively, if you haven't enabled any extensions in the incognito mode, then log into your Google Tag Manager in incognito mode, then enable the preview mode and see if your tags are firing there. The next reason is related to consent or to be more specific, consent mode. Here I am on a demo website and I still haven't given consent, but consent mode is implemented, which means that right now by default, all these permission groups, they are denied, which means that I haven't given consent. If I go to consent tab right here, everything is denied. Now I will just quickly fake in the console one data layer push so that my Google ads conversion tag would fire. So I do this, then on subscribe, if I go to tags, my Google ads conversion tag has fired. However, it is still running. If we check consent on this event, it is still denied. When consent is denied and Google Ads conversion tag fires, it will send partial data. But if on the same page consent changes to granted, then Google Ads will refire another request and it will complete its execution. Therefore, you would see succeeded. So let's do that. Here I am again on a website. I will then click allow all. And now if I go to the preview mode, the execution has finished. Therefore I see succeeded. But if your Google ads tag remains as still running, even though you have given consent, then maybe you should double check if consent mode is actually implemented properly. Maybe your visitors click agree button on the consent pop-up, but the consent mode is not updated and all your consent groups still remain denied. The next potential reason why Google Ads tags might not be completely working or you see them as still running is content security policy. It is a way for developers to control what kind of scripts can be added to the website. But if CSP is not updated properly, then it might prevent Google Ads or Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager tracking codes from working properly. You can check if CSP is affecting you by going to your website, then clicking three dots, more tools, developer tools. Of course, keep in mind that these instructions apply specifically to Google Chrome. If you're using a different browser, then you will have to Google the instructions, how to open developer tools, and then go to the console. I don't have this error right here, but if you see some errors that mention content security policy, then there is a chance that this is causing your tags to remain still running. To resolve this, you will have to contact the developers of the website and ask them to update the content security policies so that Google's certain URLs would also be included. Below this video, you will find a link to a documentation where Google explains what kind of things should be included in the content security policy. So for example, for Google ads conversion tags to work properly, the content security policy should be updated with these URLs. Let's take a look at the next situation. Here I have a form and once I submit the form and click this button, the Google ads conversion tag will fire immediately. But once I clicked the button, I was redirected to the next page. And as you can see, the redirect happened really quickly. Now, if I go to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager, click that click event, you will see that the tag is still running. The tag did not have enough time for execution. A solution here would be to find a better moment to fire the conversion tag. For example, in this case, after I submitted the form, I was redirected to a thank you page. It has a different URL. So instead of the click trigger, I could use the page view trigger or DOM ready trigger that fires on this page instead. So that could look something like this, where instead of this trigger, I would use 
let's say page view and then page path contains subscribed. And then I can name this trigger and click save. So if I did this and now I can even test this, here I will enter the email, submit the form, I'm redirected, the tag fired here, and the tag succeeded. If you are firing a tag with a link click trigger, and after that link click, the user is redirected somewhere, technically you could also use a wait for tags option. So let me show you that. There is a wait for tags checkbox right here, and here you can give the tag some additional time to execute. If the tag executes in one second, then the redirect will happen in one second. If it takes, let's say two seconds, then the redirect will happen after two seconds. But if the tag still needs even more time, this trigger will ignore that and will still continue the redirect after two seconds. So yeah, this can be technically an option, but keep in mind that when you are delaying the redirect, you are affecting the user experience directly. And personally, I try to avoid this setting. Instead, I would highly recommend trying to find a way to fire a tag on the next page if the redirect is happening. Also, sometimes you might find yourself in a situation that you checked all the tips that I have already explained in this video and none of them helped. Your tag is still displayed as still running. So here's what you could do. At least this applies to Google Ads tags. So if you are troubleshooting the tag, it remains as still running, then you can open your developer tools, go to network, then enter, let's say the word conversion, if we're talking about the conversion tag, and then refresh the page or repeat some action in order to fire the conversion tag again. Even though the preview mode might be showing that the tag is still running, which means that the execution did not fully complete, you should check the status of the request. So here, for example, we have Google Ad Services. It is setting a conversion. This is the conversion ID. The conversion label should also be somewhere there. And if you click on that request, you check its status or you can click on it and then in the headers somewhere, well, let me zoom out a bit, you should check the status code. 200 means okay. And if you see 200, it means that the request was sent. So even though Google Tag Manager did not get the final signal that everything went smoothly, the request was still sent, which usually means that your data was sent to Google Ads in this case properly. And this most likely means that everything is fine. And these were the reasons why you still see still running tags in Google Tag Manager. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. If you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.